What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So coming off of uh, all of that info that they dropped on us on, on social media here at News Time today, they also dropped the fact that Jinbei is going to be the final character in the Memories of Straw Hat Celebration. Really excited to jump into this one. Hopefully Jinbei is just as good as some of the more recent ones. Like uh, Frankie and Brooke were actually kind of surprising and after pulling Brooke and utilizing him, I'm actually a really big fan of what they did with Brooke and his design, so I am very much looking forward to seeing what this Jinbei actually does. So let's jump into it, no messing around, here we go, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So Jinbei himself, interestingly enough, he is going to be, I think, he, is he quick or is he in? Let me just double check that. He is quick, yeah, that, that's, that's interesting, because the rest of the uh, memories of Straw Hats, um, have been either Dex or in focused. So the fact that this guy's coming in as the final one and he is quick, don't really know how to uh, how to piece that together, but it's interesting nonetheless. Jinbei is going to be an end of month batch, so we're likely going to be getting you know a new PKA where this is the character that they want you to use for that PKA. If I had to take a stab at it, I would say that the PKA boss is going to be either Big Mom Charlotte Lin Lin or it's going to be Who's Who. That would be my guess. But as for Jinbei, he's a quick powerhouse and free spirit unit. He does have super tandem, and we ha we know that a lot of the other characters in this celebration that have been super tandem have been extremely disappointing in terms of the tandem effect, so I'm not expecting his super tandem to be any good. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off with his captain ability, which I guess is all the way down here. Captain ability of Jinbei is going to give uh, minus one turn of cooldown, boosting quick powerhouse free spirit by 5.75 if you have 50% or below when you attack, 5.5 times otherwise. So you want to be at low HP when Jinbei is your captain. 1.5 times health, quick and tandem slots are beneficial, 20% damage reduction, boost chance of landing tandem slots, reducing 10 turns of special bind, that's really really good, and reduces characters special charge time by 2 turns at the start of the crew's next turn after receiving damage. This is a really good captain ability. Um, out of the other straw hat characters that have come out during the celebration, um, this is this is like really really good. Removing 10 turns of special bind is crazy, crazy good. Uh, and then just the rest of this of, of this effect is just good. Like, yeah, cooldown, which is like not the most broken cooldown in the game, but hey, cooldown is cooldown. Great multipliers, great health boost, matching slots are always welcomed. 20% damage reduction on top of having like huge HP is crazy. Um, and then like boost chance of landing on tandem slots. So just more, generating more slots for you uh, The special bind reduction as we said is, is fantastic and then also potential chance to reduce his own cooldown So depending on what his special actually does this could actually be absurdly strong 13 turn cooldown, which is to be expected. So at the moment looking pretty decent uh, crewmate abilities nothing too crazy this looks to be pretty much what we expect this crewmate ability is pretty much all of the other memories of straw hats have this exact crewmate ability so that's not really that surprising at all um, where is his super type super class okay so the super class you need to have two of the following units neptune fukuboshi ryuboshi manboshi shirohoshi fisher tiger aladdin waratsume praline arlong hachi koala Ace, and then any of the Straw Hats. Wow. So I think he has, I think, the best super class condition out of any of the memories of Straw Hats that have come out. Just it's very easy to fulfill. Um, you've got a lot of good units there, so that's pretty good. The effect itself gives himself minus 10 turns of cooldown. That's not a surprise. Extends the duration of damage reduction by two turns. This could be very good, actually. And then gives a 1.5 chain multiplicative boost for two turns. And then Powerhouse becomes Super Powerhouse. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, not the best super class ever, but could be very good. So I assume that Jinbei's special gives damage reduction based on the super class. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at what this special actually does. All right, so the special ability gives ship special charge time by 10 turns. Woo! All right, that's actually pretty good. I like that. I like that. Um, enabling your ship special to just become ready is fantastic. Uh, most ship specials are give or take 10 turns and you know, by the time you have to use his special, like, it's just going to fully charge your ship. Uh, or alternatively, you could have an effect where you use the ship special, and then his special ability gets the ship special back immediately, so that you could, like, use it again. Uh, so this, this has a lot of potential, actually. This has a lot of potential. It also reduces damage taken by 90% for one turn, and with, you know, Jinbei, with his super class, you can extend that to become 90% damage reduction for three turns, which is pretty good. 
reduces enemies damage reduction by seven turns applies weakened status to the enemy for two turns and the weakened status is 1.5 times increased damage taken and if the enemy has increased damage taken whilst the weakened status is applied it's a further 1.25 times boost so the weakened status from Jinbei is 1.25 multiplied by 1.5 1.875 hypothetically if you have two times increased damage taken 3.75 is yeah this is pretty strong uh, the weakened status does not go through full immunity though so take that as you will but if the enemy doesn't have like full immunity then this just adds a lot of additional damage to the rest of the crew so that part of the special is already pretty decent uh, it further says if, you, if your crew has damage reduction damage threshold or tap timing bonus damage or a slot attack multiplying modifying effect so like effects where it says tandem slots now have a 2.5 or a 2.75 times multiply for the turn so it says if your crew has any of these buffs that last three turns or more when you launch the special allows you to select up to three damage boosting effects placed on the crew to boost further plus 0.3 to attack orbs color affinity and chain set so it can be boundary or chain lock and damage dealing which i assume means conditional boosts you can also give 0.7 boost to chain multiplier boosts and uh and and also chain additions and you can also give plus 0.2 to tap timing bonus and uh also plus 500 to base attack this is just so much okay so okay just to recap that that component starting from this line here if you have damage reduction damage threshold tap timing bonus damage or slot attack multiplier effect mod modification that lasts three turns or more so a bit of a restriction there if you have one of those buffs that lasts for three turns you can select three of these buffs that it talks about and just buff them by a certain value so all of the these buffs are, are, are by plus 0.3 you can give plus 0.7 to chain buffs plus 0.2 i think this is either the final tap buff or tap timing chain buff one of the two you, or you can give a buff to base attack so jimbei has the freedom of basically allowing you to select three of these buffs and then just add, like add multipliers to them now there is the caveat 33 percent of your crew's max hp will be used for each of the effects chosen in the case the hp would be reduced to zero one hp will remain and if the hp is not high enough the number of effects that can be chosen will be reduced so it's all based on your hp and this allows you to basically reduce your own hp which makes sense with jimbei's captain effect which wants you to be at low hp to get the higher multiplier but at the same time there's other use cases for this the fact that you can buff random effects and then it reduces your hp every time you select one of those buffs it actually is it's it's, it's a self-infliction of hp reduction which allows you to get around stun so if stun ends up being a thing and jimbei can get around that so this is a very similar effect to the kizuna legend crocodile and doflamingo very very similar effect where you could select whatever buffs you want you can buff them by a certain multiplier but you reduce your hp by a certain value exact same effect let's continue on with the rest of this special and see what exactly it does so it talks about the hp threshold here then it says allows your crew's multiplicative chain multiplier boosts not your additives but your multiplicative ones to be further increased up to two separate times okay and then it says that if his special was used in the same turn so if you use jimbei twice in the same turn further increases your multiplicative chain buffs by 0.25 and further increases all enemies increased damage taken by plus 0.5 so I think that's pretty cool, but at the same time, Jinbei doesn't have an effect that actually inflicts increased damage taken. So this effect is actually only good if you have someone else that can inflict that debuff to the opponent. So I assume one of the rare recruits in this batch is going to inflict this to the opponent, and then this can buff it with Jinbei, right? That's my assumption, right? That makes sense. Jinbei seems interesting, okay? So you gotta remember, his captain ability is reducing special bind, which is cool. You wanna be at low HP to get the best out of it. You got a lot of HP to play with. You got matching slots. And then you got this special, which can give ship cooldown, damage reduction with his super class. You can extend that to three turns. And then if you somehow have one of these buffs that last three turns or more, you can then further buff your other effects. Jinbei, at the moment, just just reading him from how I see it right now, I don't think Jinbei is going to see that much play due to his special ability alone. This effect of further buffing your crew's effects on paper sounds really cool, but we've seen with Croc and Dofi, it's just not really that great. 
Um, this is a little bit better in a way though, because it's a Jinbei unit and Jinbei can be used to proc like EX supers or super type conditions, e um, you know, tandem conditions and stuff. So that's obviously a huge benefit that he has that, that Croc and Dorothy don't have, but I just don't think it's that great. It's like, it's just, it's just okay. You know, um, I, I was, I was really, really pumped about the captain and, and the super class, but Special ability is just kind of like, eh, it's, it's fine, it's fine, and you know, the weakened status applying is really neat, but it only really works if they don't have the full immunity buff. If this went through status effects, then we're talking, but as it stands right now, eh, it's, it's fine, it's fine, you know, nothing too crazy. Let's have a look at his support effect. Support effect attaches to all of the Fisherman characters and Ace uh, that it mentions in his, um, in his uh, superclass condition. And it says, once per quest, if you're inflicted with increased damage taken, 70% damage reduction will be inflicted to your crew. Okay, that's pretty neat. I mean, getting inflicted by increased damage taken is a little bit niche these days. Um, but it could be good. A little bit of a niche effect. Now, the super tandem, and I can already see it's garbage. You need three of the listed characters to get the tandem to activate. Already dead on arrival. This is bad. It will not see play. But let's have a look at it anyway. Damage reduction is going to be removed by three. Tenom attack boost to quick powerhouse and free spirit. Garbage. Terrible. Never going to see play. Absolutely garbage. Super Tenom effect. Okay, so that's the breakdown of Jinbei. Um, Captain ability and super class are really interesting. I think the special ability is just... It's just a little too niche for my liking, personally. At the end of the day, you could still activate some other damage reduction effect, use his super class to extend it by two turns to now make it a three turn buff, and then you can go ahead and use the special ability to actually start buffing some of your other effects. Um, I just don't think he's that great. It just seems kind of average, personally. I just, I don't see the appeal. I really don't. I don't see the appeal of this guy. But we have something else to talk about. We do have his rumble stuff. Uh, I will say that his sprite looks really, really good. He is a defensive style unit in rumble. So he's going to be a quick powerhouse free spirit. So just trying to think of different ways to use him. Um, like quick powerhouse is actually still pretty solid in rumble. Quick free spirit. I'm not really too sure about that. But let's have a look. So Jinbei, his special ability 27 CT targets your quick teammates for level 5 defense and shield level 3 both of which for 15 seconds, that's not too bad. He gives himself a 600 HP heal per interval, auto healing for 20 seconds. He provokes on himself for 20 seconds. And then furthermore, if you have six or more quick units on your team, targets two enemies for a 35% HP cut and your strength type enemies uh, are also gonna be hit with uh, 1.3 times damage through defense. Okay, okay, so, mm, yeah, yeah, this is, that's pretty good, actually. That special is actually really good. So you gotta you gotta think if you're building a quick team to take on just strength enemies, this special is pretty busted because you, you've got your your full quick team, you've got a nice defensive effect here, you got your quick squad, two enemies are targeted with a 35% health cut, then there's a semicolon which is like new effect, and then it says all strength type enemies. It says target strength type enemies for 1.3 damage ignoring defense. Yeah, this seems pretty solid. I think this is a good special if you're building a full quick team versus strength. This is probably a unit you want to try and you, you want to try and build for. Seems pretty good. Let's have a look at the Rumble ability. Your quick teammates get six health, six speed, and if you have six or more quick allies on the team, gives himself a level six defense and your strength type enemies level seven attack down. Yeah, I think Jinbei is a pretty solid unit for quick teams. Again, only really in the scenario of building um, like a full quick team to take on a full strength team. That's the use case for him. Outside of that, probably not going to see much play. He does have Grand Party stuff as well, which I, I don't think is going to be that great, but we'll see. You have to deal 30,000 damage for his burst skill, and the burst skill gives quick powerhouse and free spirit allies uh, attack and defense up level 7, and your team gets an attack times 4 counter stance. That's a very big counter stance, albeit it is only for 15 seconds. And then 800 HP auto interval healing, and then 3 enemies for high health for 4,000 damage. The thing is, is you can use this burst skill four separate times. Interesting. You have to deal 30,000 damage in order to get this to activate. So that's, that's, that's not too bad. I think it's okay. It, the thing is, is like, like Luffy is still so good in Grand Party that, you know, you have to compare it to the best. Uh, and I just don't think this is like one of the better effects, but it's definitely not the worst effect that I've seen. There have definitely been worse Grand Party stuff in the game, like hands down. His uh, leader skill gives buffs to quick, 
speed, defense, CT speed up, which is good. Powerhouse and free spirit get defense, HP at level, uh, HP and attack up, and then strength enemies attack down and defense down level five. So again, if you're coming up against a really opposing, a really threatening opposing strength team, um, he's going to enable you to nerf those strength units pretty effectively. So we'll see. We will see. I don't think he's he's that great. He's okay. He's going to be threatening for sure, but only if you're using a quick team versus strength and you already got a big, big advantage by doing that anyway so it's not that big of a deal that's the breakdown of Jinbei though uh let me know your thoughts and opinions about him i think he's like just fine he, he's a perfectly serviceable okay sugar fest exclusive uh, i'm not going to be summoning for this guy hell no i'm going to be saving my gems because they did announce for those of you who did miss my previous video they did announce there is going to be a Super Sugo Fest, Saturday, August 10th. Make sure to mark it in your calendars. There's no reason to pull for this Jinbei when this is coming up very, very shortly. I'm just saying, if you pull for Jinbei when you know that this is happening, you're a goose. You're actually a goose. So <laughs> that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that, guys. I'll see you guys within the next video.